Hey everybody, I'm here today with part four of my how to solve a Rubik's Cube video series. In this installment, I will be showing you how to solve for the yellow cross. So in the previous videos, and some of the previous videos, part one and part two, I had the uh, white layer on top. In part three, I turned it so that I had the yellow layer on top. And in this part, in part four, you will also need to have the yellow layer on top. So basically, you are going to look at the yellow layer, look at the yellow layer, and only pay attention to the edge pieces and the center okay don't it, just ignore the corner pieces um, just pay attention to the edge pieces and the center you will see one of three things you will see uh, either just the yellow dot and the rest will not be yellow you will see a yellow bar across one way or the other this way or this way or you will see a yellow backwards L just like that so as you can see I have the yellow backwards L now the goal is to get the L and you are going to position it uh, the backwards L in the top left corner when you are looking at the yellow side so position it in the top left corner okay now make sure that once it's positioned in the top left corner turn the Rubik's Cube like this so that you are looking at uh, these layers right here that you have already solved okay and you are going to do the following algorithm and once again uh, all of the algorithms will be listed in the description of the video so if you are unsure of what I am saying then just take a look and it will be written or I should say it will be typed out so you will use the following algorithm F R U inverted R inverted U inverted F okay so let's just go ahead and do that right now F R U inverted R inverted U inverted F okay now if you did that properly and you had the L you should have a yellow bar just like that once again we are ignoring the corner pieces just the edges and the center get the bar get the yellow bar and position it in uh, position it horizontally so it can be this way or this way it doesn't make a difference as long as it's horizontally I'm just gonna do it like this horizontal yellow bar once again once you have it horizontally turn the Rubik's Cube like this so that you can see the two solved layers and you are going to do the same algorithm once again F R U inverted R inverted U inverted F so let's go ahead and do that F R U inverted R inverted U inverted F now you should have a yellow cross on top and once again we are just looking at the edges and the center we are ignoring the corner pieces so just looking at the edges in the center you can see that I have a yellow cross now um, you have to now orient the you have to orient the yellow cross edge pieces in the right positions so you can see that the red one is lined up um, this is incorrect this is incorrect this is incorrect so the goal is to get to turn the yellow layer to rotate the yellow layer until you have two of the edge pieces in the right positions okay so let's just try and experiment okay now the orange is in the right position the blue is in the right position um, but the red and the green are not so we have two in the proper positions okay the blue and the orange that is what we need now you will be in one of two situations you will either have the two uh, the two correct pieces adjacent to each other so sort of beside each other or they will be opposite to each other okay if they are adjacent to each other make sure that you are holding the Rubik's Cube with the yellow layer on top and one of the correct pieces is on your right one of the correct pieces is on the back okay if they are opposite to each other make sure that one is on the front one is on the back okay mine are adjacent or touching so I have one on the right one on the back and I'm gonna hold the Rubik's Cube like this with a yellow layer on top and then I am going to execute the following algorithm R U R prime U R to U R prime uh, sorry I'm using the prime uh, prime language which is a different way of saying it but I'll say it in the way that I usually say it I apologize um, I'm just gonna start saying that algorithm again just forget what I just said R U inverted R U R to U inverted R U so let's do that algorithm slowly R U inverted R U R to U 
inverted our U. Just like that. And now if you take a look, you can see that they are all lined up properly. Pretty, pretty cool and pretty simple. And that's basically it. That is all that I wanted to do for this video. This has been the fourth video in my how to solve a Rubik's Cube video series. In this video I've shown you how to solve the yellow cross, so sort of how to get the yellow cross and how to orient it properly. Once again all of the algorithms will be listed in the description of this video so be sure to check out the description so you can read the algorithms um, what, you know since they have been typed out for you. I will be typing them out for you. In the next video I will be showing you how to finish solving the Rubik's Cube by getting the yellow corner pieces in place. But that's all for this video I just wanted to show you how to solve the white uh, sorry solve the yellow cross. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.